Who's there? It's me. Rosh? Sorry to drop in like this. I know I'm getting in the way of your mission. But there's something I had to tell you. What is it? It's about Alistel. What happened? Hugo's Thaw Machine Corps invaded Celestia and killed countless beast kind. He was after Celestia's abundance of mana, a power source for his Thaw Machines, in other words. Fennel is overseeing the creation of more powerful armaments even now. You've been on a mission, so you might not realize it, but the nation's in shambles. So, they'll invade anywhere if it means getting their hands on more mana. If things go on like this, there'll be no end to the war. Yeah. Alistel's done for. That's why we defected. You what? When I say we, I mean Lieutenant General Raoul, Sonia, and the guys in my brigade. We all left Alistel together. So, that's what's been going on. We couldn't just sit on our hands and watch Alistel rot like that. So we decided to join forces with Celestia, per Lieutenant General Raoul's suggestion. We'll probably have to deal with Hugo soon. I'll need your help on this one, Stock. Do you mean that you want us to join forces with your group? Well, that's the way I would have wanted it. But Lieutenant General Raoul came up with a better plan. He's going to leave the Granork side to you. Which involves? You're going with the Princess to help her assume the throne. Huh? Wait. Before we go on, how do you know the Princess is with me? Before we ditched Alistel, I beat some info out of one of the SI guys. Well, that's certainly in character for you. Isn't it? I also got other things, like the state of affairs in Granorg out of him. All these countries are corrupt to the core. That's why we're going to take back Alistel, while you and that princess take back Granorg. I see. So, the time has come for that. Oh, slow down. For this operation to work, we'll need a lot of people on our side. We've enlisted Celestia, so your job will be to join forces with Cygnus. Cygnus, huh? We're actually headed that way already. Well, that simplifies things, doesn't it? Oh, and let the princess handle the diplomacy. It's not really your strong suit, if you catch me. Okay, then. I'm headed back to Celestia. I'll leave Cygnus to you. All right. You know, I didn't think you'd be so understanding about this. I thought you might consider me an enemy after I told you I'd defected. Worst case scenario, I was bracing myself for a fight. Well... We already had a fight beforehand, so I'm really happy that, uh, that we didn't have to fight again. And welcome back everyone for the next part of Raid in Astoria! I decided to, to, to just start off the part instantly with the cutscene. Just for a change of pace, you know? <laughs> and I mean, you never know what actually helps in the cutscene, right? Everything could have turned out worse than they expected. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. There's no way I'd fight you. Good point. Guess Lieutenant General Raoul made a wise choice sending me to persuade you. Alright, I really have to go now. I'll hurry over to Granorg as soon as our end's taken care of. There he goes. I'm glad I didn't have to fight him this time. But I wasn't expecting this. In the other history, Rosh took a stand against Alistel. Apparently his change of heart carried over to this timeline as well. And not only him, I mean Raul also defected, as well as Sonya, and his whole brigade. Wait, his whole... Is Keel alive? Is Keel alive in this timeline? Oh please. Oh god. And Rosh's fairy has been revised. Oh, I can't wait to see Keel again. <laughs> oh. And Marco? What were you holding up, Stock? Oh, pretty fine. Was somebody here? I thought I heard voices. No, just me. Is that why you came? It's my turn to tend the fire, actually. I'll take over. Right. Thanks, Marco. You've got it under control? Yeah, I'm sure you're tired, Stock. Get some sleep, okay? Okay. There we go. All right. Should be easy enough to keep a fire going. It's fine for now, and I've got a great view of the sky from here, too. Oh, the stars are beautiful tonight. What happened? 
What the? What's all this fog? This isn't fog. It's gas. Can't keep eyes open. Marco! You were on the ship for like three seconds. How could it happen? Not good. Ugh. How could this happen, Marco? No! Oh, no! <laughs> what the heck is that? <laughs> uh, I was expecting some kind of voice, but... <laughs> Finders keep us, my friends. Stock is now alone. Did you just steal my friends? Literally? My friends? It's one thing to steal my items. You've returned, Stock. <laughs> that is completely out of story. <laughs> okay, uh, let's swap. Your escape from Granorg must have been exhausting. I cannot find fault with you for what is happening now. But now that you are in such a predicament, perhaps you will reach a greater understanding. Let us now add a new chapter to the White Chronicle. And a new mission for the Missia. But we're going to save that for a later point. Just in case, do you want to record your actions up till now? Yes, please. Right over there. Now, please continue with the story. Friendship. <laughs> finally, finally really some better um, titles. Wake up! <sighs> hey! Come on, Stark! Wake up! Oh. <sighs> Ricky? Finally! Uh, you're... Ricky, right? The kid who guided us to Corne Village. <laughs> yep, you remember me. Yeah. Where the heck are we? So, where are we? Uh, I don't know, but it's so hot, I think we must be somewhere in the desert. The desert? Then we're in the Cygnus region. But how did you get here? Jeez. Uh, well, I wish I knew. When I woke up, I found myself sleeping next to you. Tell me as much as you can remember. Um, um well, you already know that Gnork is a, is a total mess, right? I was still in Connard Village at the time. <laughs> But I was worried about the rest of the resistance, so I went back to check in by myself. That is when I ran into Otto at the entrance of the city. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's not long after we escaped. Never mind. I was hoping he maybe survived. Mm -hmm. He told me to go back to Cornet Village, but I snuck after him. What? But then I lost track of him in the Sand Fortress. So I was looking around for Otto, and the next thing I know, I... I saw some smoke, and the last thing I remember is closing my eyes. And this is where I woke up. I see. Hey! Wait a second, Stark. Where are Lady Erika and the rest? Oh, shoot, right, it's supposed to protect. Oh, God, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead if they know where that. They're not here? Mm -hmm. Well, do you see them here? You and I are it. We were together until we set up camp at the Judgment Cliffs. I asked Marco to take my place at the fire so I could get some sleep. And that's the last thing I remember before waking up here. Sounds like you and I had a similar experience. Hopefully everyone else is just in separate cells. <laughs> About time you woke up. Okay, who's that? What's that guy again? The kidnapper. Who are you? <laughs> Ely. I'm just a humble desert dweller who finds work for those who collapse on the harsh roads. Collapse? Are you kidding? We were camping! Oh. I bet you're the one who's put me to sleep! Yeah. Humble desert dweller? You're right, you're full of it! What are you gonna do with us? Hmm. Well, I'll put you. Uh, I will put you to work, of course. Sadly, the line of works get a lot of people killed. But I have a hunch that you in the red might live up to uh, to my lofty expectations. <laughs> Are you a soldier? A mercenary, perhaps? You should put up quite a fight. Uh... What do you mean by fight? What kind of work is this? Mm. 
Be quiet and listen, you noisy brats. I have a customer coming in the morning. He'll be watching you fight my strongest gladiator. Is this a Colosseum? Hmm. Not that you have to win. As long as you make the fight and my gladiator, uh, gladiator look good. That's all that counts. So I'm your underdog. <laughs> Precisely. I'm glad you're catching on so quickly. The longer you struggle to win, the stronger my gladi uh, gladiator looks. And if I win? <laughs> Uh, well, that's fine as well. You simply become my new gladiator. Well, he said I want to do that. And I'll introduce you to my client instead of him. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter how it ends. I still profit. Remarkable business strategy, isn't it? Yeah. Screw that! You're not gonna make me make a show out of him. Hmm. <sighs> Bark all you want now, boy. You may not have a head tomorrow. Are you freaking... You'll be kissing this world goodbye if you don't get your heads on your shoulders. Uh, or rather, keep your heads on your shoulders. <laughs> Unless that is how you want your end to be. Then fight. Prove how strong you are. <laughs> that is a kid? How, supposed, how is a kid supposed to fight a gladiator like that? Hey! Hey, come back here! Uh, what are we gonna do, Stark? Try to stay calm, Ricky. We'll have to wait and see for now. What? But you have to fight against this gladiator. I mean, I know you never lose, but... Until we find out where Erica and the others are, we can't do anything reckless. But don't worry. I'll find our way out as soon as I see the chance. I mean, I could literally turn invisible, then they open the cell, wondering where I went, and then I'm gonna strike. <laughs> that is a thing that I could do, Stark. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I trust you, Stark. Oh, seriously, I would wish they would play around with the, the invisibility some more. It is such a great ability. Okay, how do I get out? That any guy really ticks me off. Sounds like you're going to be fighting tomorrow. Wanna rest for the night? I don't really see anything else to do, so sure. Mm -hmm. You're right. Good night, Stark. Waking up to sleep again! What a life! The next day. Ahem. I'm told to prepare to find Gladiator, but which one is he? Well, it could be both, actually. Yes. Indeed I have, Sir Hatch. Look to the west. The man is unmatched in strength. He has never lost a battle, in fact. The one to the east, I have not seen her skill, but he has some kind of... Uh, but he was some kind of knight or mercenary. <laughs> I believe he's the perfect op opponent to bring out the best of my gladiator. Oh? Is that so? Now then. But enough talk. Let him have at it. Uh huh. Yeah. Invisibility! I could run now! There's nothing holding me back! No fessel whatsoever! <laughs> if you end up dead, it was nothing personal. Ah, come on, dude. I won't lose. So if I'm gonna lose, double slash! Too slow! Woohoo! Oh. He's good tanky. But 60 damage? Ah, come on, dude. How about this? <laughs> it's literally not that much. Are you move forward? Well, no thanks. Again. Uh, no thanks. No. What's your plan, dude? Seriously? Huh. I mean, I can also use fire since you're on the back right now. But fire doesn't seem to be so effective, so go back to the back! No. And then we're gonna use double slash again. Take this. One, two. No. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna use this chance to heal myself up you okay? quickly. No! Oh, now we're going to go for another double slash. How about One, this? two. Yeah, no. Actually, I think if I just attack it normally, that would be just a strong red. Yeah. Ah, nah. Yeah, double no. attack is it is. But I am going to heal myself up again. You okay? Just to be sure. Since uh, that guy really likes to move to the front line. 
I mean, I can kind of understand. Whoa! I would do the same thing as a physical attacker, but... Still... No. Doesn't really stand a chance. Yeah. I'm gonna save yeah. that no. Totally. Yeah. Oh, I even got the chance to double attack. Yeah. Look, at you, look at that. Yeah. Then I'm gonna heal again. You okay? You have poison. Oh well. That was unexpected. Well, sorry for you, but uh, I also have something against that. Stark is literally an all-rounder. He has magic, he has all types of physical hits, he can steal, he can heal, <laughs> and he has recovery and revive. There's literally okay? nothing he doesn't have. Okay, I guess it's finally time to make uh, put an end to this, huh? Well, it's finally over. That was easy enough. Impossible! It can't be! He literally broke his sword! That soldier actually won? <laughs> huh, it's of little consequence. I'll take him with me then. <laughs> <laughs> You're truly a man with vision. By the by. Speaking of vision, Mr. or the Sir Hedge, have you given any thought to the uh, to the merchant we discussed? Hmm. I don't recall such a discussion. Come now. Oh, ever so devious, my lord. I speak of the rights to Scala. Perhaps. Ah, right. You've rather, or rather, have been rather aggressive on that front. Hmm. Yes, but that's my price. You just saw with your own eyes how strong this man is. Hmm. What do you think, your lordship? There may not be another qui- uh, Oh my god. There may not be another quite like him in some time. Opportunities is knocking. Perhaps. Indeed. Very well. <laughs> <laughs> I've been, it's been a pleasure doing business, Sir Hatch. Hmm. I will take the girl from earlier as well. The girl? He could be referring to Erica, Rainy, or Art. It's not good regardless. At this rate, we are all be... We'll all be separated. Yes. The girl then. Certainly, sir. <laughs> I'm glad to have secured the gladiator before his revival. I can take the soldier with me, but he'll need a caretaker. Do you have someone suitable? Hmm. Oh. Oh, yes, I know. Just the boy. Now, Thank you, sir. And please don't forget to keep your words about that other business. <laughs> You needn't remind me so insincerely. Leave the merchants to me. Okay, who the heck decides that I'm actually following this lead? He saw how strong I am, right? And I can turn invisible, goddammit! I could run whenever! <laughs> A few days later. Ahem. Oh. Alright, I have the kids. Ah. Please have a look. This one is quite a fight. Heads! You went over my head again! What the heck is you? Okay. You would champion an outsider to represent Cygnus in the tournament? Ah, uh, we have Ah, that's good! That's good, I was supposed to go to Cygnus. Don't really like the fact that I'm missing my whole party, especially us, but okay. But. 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 We would never gain favor with Sir Diaz if we used men from our own ranks. How many years has it been since you came to this land? Yet you still don't understand the desert culture. First and foremost, we provide entertainment for our guests, even if they are our enemies. It may be for entertainment only, but we still give it 100%. That is the way of the desert. As you wish. I apologize. Your knowledge is valuable, but if you continue to tear us down, no more second chances! Understood. Yes, I'll be, be, I'll be more careful from now on. Hmm. You. What's your name? When you ask someone's name, isn't it common courtesy to state your own? <laughs> <laughs> you brace for a lowly gladiator? You'd best learn to show some respect. There's a guy who wouldn't have any way to control us. You need only answer when asked a question. Shut it, Edge! 
I'm Garland, and I run things here in Cygnus. Ah, so you're the boss. Well, that's good. We need your help. <laughs> I'm glad someone has the guts to stand up to me every now and again. Shackles can't bind the soul. Something like that. I like the fire in your eyes. King Garland, the mighty of Cygnus. So he is the one. So, I've told you my name. Your turn. Stock. Psst. Stock? Maybe you shouldn't give him your real name. It sounds like he's going to be meeting, uh, going to be meeting with Diaz. <sighs> Ernst. Ernst? My name's Ernst. Ernst, hmm? Great name. I never met him, but the Prince of Granorg that died a few years back had the same name. He seemed like a well-liked prince, but having died before his prime, it means little. Do you plan on making it to your prime? <laughs> that was a joke. You're supposed to laugh. Then maybe you should tell better jokes. <laughs> You're never at a loss for words, are you? You must be quite confident in yourself. Now, you've really piqued my interest. Hedge. Huh? Uh, yes? Unbind them. Huh? What? Uh, is that another joke? Do I look like I'm joking? A as you wish. Um, understood. Am I supposed to fight him? Huh? Hmm. What's your problem? Why the scowl? Or do you prefer being chained up? What are you thinking? I told you already. You're an interesting man. I want to test your confidence for myself. Hedge, ready some foils. A as you wish. Um, understood. What is, uh, what is that guy planning? Is he actually in league with Dia? What's, what is with that guy? I don't think he's bad though. Huh. Maybe we should go outside. Maybe we should. At least now I'm not no longer shined up. The lady that has been added to the White Chronicle. But still kind of feels like I'm supposed to do some kind of or rather fight in some kind of tournament, huh? Ah uh, wait, this looks like a battle. Maybe he's trying to test off my strength. Need to save again, just in case. So what's up? Uh Knight Garland, what's the spare with you? Who exactly are you? Well, I am uh I think we said Ernst. Ernst, right? Okay. Ahem. Don't run around much. You don't exactly belong here. Actually, instead of Ernst, I should just say Ernst, right? Because it's a German word. Yeah, I should probably do that. Hey. <laughs> King Garland's nickname is the Desert Tiger. There's no way that you'd be able to stand his might. So he's the tiger, I'm the lion. What's Listen. next? I wonder where Hedge found such a beautiful girl. He also had a little beast kind girl with him. He was saying he would take her to the bar? What is it? Uh, what do you want? These are the cells. You've got no business going here. Go on, get. Well, at least I know that the art is around. Now then, uh, Sorry, sir, I already forgot your name. Draw your sword. Garland. I'll test your skills. Are you ready? Now then, let's <laughs> do this let's the right begin. way. Hedge, let no one interfere with this. I'm serious. Something wrong, Ernst? Draw your weapon. What's the meaning of this? <laughs> These may be training foils, but they're still lethal. If you're not up to it, I understand. Or, if it suits you, you could try to defeat me and then make your escape. <sighs> Fine! <laughs> now that's more like it. Show me what you've got! Let's test out your strength, then! Lose. Double slash! Too slow! But that doesn't look so bad. Double slash again! 
Just so far, he's only using normal attacks. I'm not really going to trust this. Okay, still safe for one more round. Double slash. How about this? And that looks like a buff, right? Defense increased. Ah. I see what you're trying to do here. I only have one though. Or is it for blocks to attacks? I guess I'm going to buff up go. my defense as well. Ah. It's not really working though. And since I'm already here, I'm also going to eat here this. To recover my health! Seriously, it doesn't really seem like it does a lot. Wild Slash! One, two, three. Three slashes, okay. That is manageable! Oh no! No freaking way! No! 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 You're not going to stand in front line! There's no way! You okay? No freaking way! <laughs> okay. How about fire? Fire is the thing. Okay, I need to push her back again because I seriously do not like you to be on the front line! Oh god! My, my shield! My shield! That's alright, it's not that strong. Okay, fire it is! Is that the offensive buff now? Or is it still this? Yeah, that, that is the offensive buffs. Okay, never mind. Shield again! Oh. Shield again! <laughs> and you go to the front? No freaking way, dude! Yeah. Uh, that's the offense buff. That's good. I'm just gonna use fire then. Uh. Then you move to the front, which means I'm gonna push you back again. Yeah. Okay. I survived. I survived. First aid kit. That buffs up this tech again. My shield already went out. I can use another fire spell. Here you go. Burn. I need to keep my my defenses up. It's very important. That guy's ridiculous. No. I don't even want to know how much damage that would do without it. Seriously. And now he moves back to the front. Forget that. Yeah. Oh my god. No. Oh my god. No. <laughs> Am I able to stand it? I think I'm able to stand for my turn. Okay, fire oh. this. Oh no! He knew! I was too greedy! I was too greedy! <laughs> no! I should have healed! I should have healed! I was waiting! I thought he would go for the buff, but he didn't! Okay, let's uh, let's do this again. Radiant Historia. So, I think that is going to boost up his attack. I still have the defense buff, which means... Healing item. Here you go. And that is the other buff. That's, that's not good. Can I use uh, fire twice? Burn! Yeah, I can use fire twice. But the fence buff is still around. No! Okay, that does with the fence 150, and it ran out. Well, that's uh, that's too bad. I seriously need to buy more of those items. They are very, very important. Okay, another white slash. One, two, three. Pretty close. That's alright. Uh, 200 here. You go. Here we go. My god, he's spamming that thing. I need to wait for the right moment, or else I'm screwed. Here you go. So let me see. It was the tech buff. I have my Bada Burst ready. I could use a turn break. Or try to go for the 
Phantom Game. This is gonna go for the I won't break. let you! If I use fire twice, it could be enough to to deal with it. Burn! One, Burn! two. Yeah, I just need I just need to survive ah! this hit. Hit my next attack, ah! and that should deal with him. Which means fire again and ah! bye. Not half bad. It's finally over. And he actually gave me a mind herb. Now, if you gave me a few defense herb, that would have been. Perfect, but okay. Thanks for, thanks for giving me at least that one herb back. <laughs> Not bad at all. You've got skill if you can land a hit on me. You went easy on me, didn't you? A defeat is a defeat. Effort doesn't change the result. As promised, you're a free man. But before you take off, I'd like your opinion on something, Ernst. In a few days, a dignitary of Granord will be coming to our kingdom. He's well known for his love of gladiator battles. So, when he comes, we're having a gladiator bout between his man and someone we put forth. And like you heard me tell Hedge, there's no reason to lose on purpose. Lord Galore, Garland, consider the conf... Uh conference with them shut up if we win the match and show them our strength we can meet them on equal ground ernst i'd like you to represent us what do you think would you do it stock um stock we still gotta find lady eroka let's turn him down and make a run for it no if i fight for him garland would be in our debt we need to look for erica in secret so a king's help would go a long way. Uh, if you say so. All right. But I'll do it on one condition. And that is? This makes us even. I thought the worst, but that's all you want? It's a done deal. Wait, what? What? Hedge! What did he want? I didn't see the... What? Ernst and the boy are to be considered our guests. I think that... I think there was a... A translation error, maybe. And guests are to be entertained. Make sure they're comfortable until the match. A as you wish. Huh. Well, I guess we're free now. Hey! You two, follow me. Hey! Hey! That's a cool omelette. Can I see it? Stop that! Keep your filthy hands off! Ahem. This is a special piece made by the master craftsman, Latte. His silver craft is expensive because no piece, uh, no two pieces are the same. Huh? Oh, no wonder it looks so cool! <coughs> like I said, don't touch! This is why it detests children. Huh? Aww. Well then. We have arrived. You may use this room to your liking. And you are free to come and go as you please. Really? Really? Awesome! Hey! A warning though, sirs. Just because King Garland approves of you, it's no reason to let you go to your... Uh, go to your head. If for any reason you leave the city without permission... Don't worry. I'll keep my promise. Hmm. Very well. And try not to undermine King Garland's generosity. Still need to keep this guy in mind. There's a chance he has art. <sighs> I hate that guy. <sighs> well, I'm pooped. I'm gonna get some sleep. See you later, Stark. Yeah, well, at least I was able to say 3P. I can finally move around freely. The others may have been brought here as well. I should go out and see what I can learn. Gladiator has been revised. Finally, a time to move around here. First of all, Treasures. I mean, come on. There's always a chance they hide treasures in the rooms. And what about Ricky? Is Ricky alright? <sighs> I wonder if the princess is alright. Where could she be? Maybe in the city? Or maybe somewhere else? I'm not really so sure about that. Let's make a double save. And explore the city, I would say. Oh, is that a gladiator? 
Yeah. This looks like a safe place to rest. Camping out on the street is a place uh, in a place like this can be deadly. But sheep in are even more dangerous. And why is that? Welcome. Well, it is completely yes. for free for me. I use this chance to heal up because so, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm a bit hurt. So let's see. First of all, change the screen. And I guess uh, we're just going to talk to everyone again. Um, I heard Hatch brought a few more people to Sipnus. There's even a beast kind girl. That, now that is rare. Okay, where the heck is that? I need to find that. Mm -hmm. And treasures. That's... 200 k uh, Or in a 2k. It's always nice to have. Ooh, would you look at that? <gasps> would you look at that? You don't mind me taking those items, right? I mean, you specifically try to hide them. Wait, isn't that a guy? Um. He looks like the guy that sold us, but he is different. A cute girl started working at the bar recently. Seems like she has a past. Whenever she wait, uh, she's waiting on us. I feel bad for her. The bar. Both stores have good selections, but they are both pretty shady. Can't you see? They are seedy. Seedy? You're in luck. <laughs> Welcome. We only carry the most expensive items. All items are expensive. What the hell are you even talking about? Oh my god. It's better. But it is expensive. Ah, is it better than my dagger? It is better than my dagger. Oh my god. But I, no. No. The temptation. What the freaking temptation. What about the armor? It's this 500... Oh. Ah, this is going to be important later. Once I have more than 300 HP. P region. Panacea, magic down. Oh, that is good. That is really good. And I can finally buy some magic herbs. Which means I'm gonna buy a few of them. Okay, that would be pretty much it. Wanna buy some? I have a. Oh, no, thank you very much. <sighs> uh, I have enough mana crystals. So, I already talked with you. I think it goes to the left side, which means I'm going to check out the right side first. That leads to a separate area mm -hmm. with another That's... treasure. Protection pact. Weird thing. Okay. So what is happening over here? Excuse me. Are you here for a drink? You'd best keep moving. There are two beast kind in there. One is huge and buff, and the other is a little girl with horns. I'll admit the girl is adorable. But the other one is scary. Oh, I need to come there right away. Gafka? Is that you? Hey! Hey, what's the hold up? Get a move on, Slowpoke! Seriously, what a useless. G You're dead, dude. Can't go any faster. You're so dead! What? <gasps> it is you, what? Stuck? Stuck! Is this city so short of laborers that it has to overwork children like this? I'd say this place is small enough for you to run by yourself. You're kidding me! Listen, pal, you shouldn't go about picking fights here. This place isn't like a North or Alistair, you know? <laughs> now come on, if you ain't a customer, then give back the bread and get lost. Stuck? Let me guess. Oh, I get it. You fancy that girl, do you? Yes. If it's a fight you want, it's a fight you'll get. A fight? <laughs> if you win, you can keep her, but if you lose, you will work for me for free as well. You'll keep your word? Oh? So, you're up for it. Then let me introduce you to your opponent. Security! Hey! Come on up front! <laughs> uh, is it time for work? It isn't, Gafka. What the hell, dude? Show him what you're made of. That's right. Crush this guy, will you? Oh. I'm gonna crush him? Show him what you're made that's of. That's right. Mm. You sure that's okay? Show him what you're made Perfectly. of. Perfectly. Oh. <sighs> sure thing. Well then, you there. Get out. 
Here goes snuffing. I hope you're ready. I'll fight too. There's no way we'll lose together, Stock. Oh, heck yeah! <laughs> Out to join the party! Okay, that, uh, that guy is so dead! <laughs> so dead! What did he do? Recovers health! <laughs> so that's going to help! Okay, first uh, bomb and then uh, push behind! There we go! <laughs> that is a lot of damage, right? Then we're going to put the bomb right up there. And then we're going to push him to the left. I'll trap him. There we go. And bam. <laughs> Not my art! What's the problem, dude? Seriously. That's some deep dignity, you know? Actually, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna pull your head. I want to do a bigger combo, you know? Offensive stance. That's... that's totally alright. Come on! Do your worst! Do your worst! Okay, bomb number one! Then we're going to push him to the right. And we're going to swap. Use bomb number two. Ah, wait, I can't push him there. That's right. Then we're going to use bomb number two right over here. Push him to the left. Then we're going to use bomb number three. Push him back to the right. And then bomb number two right over here. Push it back through the left, and technically speaking, that should hurt so much that he doesn't stand a chance. I'll trap him. Right? I'll trap him. Yeah. I'll trap him. Looks good. Yeah. Yeah. Totally enough. Sorry, we had to win this. Yeah, we kind of had to. Security. Did that really just happen? What did you expect? Art's broken! <laughs> You're pretty good. Boy. But I'm just getting started. It's time for round two. Uh-huh. But But I've gotta take a bathroom break before that. Wait here and get ready. <laughs> bathroom break? Uh I think he ran away. Yeah, seems like it. What's your plan? Want to pick up where he left off? Uh... <laughs> um, you gotta be joking. Then I've won the match. You'd better honor your word. <laughs> yes, of course. She's all yours. Saving art has been added to the White Chronicle. Ah, there we go. Got my art back. Everything's great. <laughs> I saw you beat up that big guy. You're really strong. Maybe you could even take on King Garland. Well, I already did. Even if he was holding back, I still won. <laughs> that bodyguard muscle seems to have been just for show. Well, he was always strong too. I bet it helped. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, wait, I can't even talk to the others. Uh, what about you? <laughs> Welcome. Well, if it isn't that little girl's knight in shining armor. Oh god. Uh, <laughs> can I uh, can I help you with anything else? Uh, about the girl. She's yours. Do whatever you want with her. <laughs> uh-huh. Don't really like the way how he, how he was talking about her, but uh, that can be fixed. You saved me again, Stock. You must really like me. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. So, um, Stock, what are we gonna do now? Well, we need to look for Erica. Erica? That's right. Stock, you don't have to fight anymore if you don't want to. We should become traveling entertainers with Lee's and Uncle Vanos. You're... you're really good with swords. I bet tons of people would come to watch that. See? Let's do that, Stock. What are you saying, Ott? 
forget about Erica and come on the road with us. Huh? I... I don't want you to leave, Stock. Forever. Aunt, why are you talking like that? If we don't help Erica, the world will turn into sand. And if that happens, there won't be a forever. Don't you think that's important? I'm sorry. Ah, But I don't want you to go away. Hey, don't worry. Even if we get separated, we'll find each other again. Just like this. Stuck. Come on now. We've got to keep looking for Erica. Inquiry in the desert has been added. Oh, my poor art. I'm not really sure what she's on about, but she, she seems to be really worried about him. Well, okay. Yes. First of all, let's rest up right away. There we Come go. Again. Just in case. I mean, we already had to fight for our art. There's a chance we need to fight again for the other party members, right? Okay, uh, I think I didn't talk to you yet. Um. There was a beast kind stumbling around here just now. I think it was a, a good trial. I wonder if he went home. Maybe. Mm. If you believe the rumors, Garland rules this country with iron fist. But it's not true. He listens to ordinary citizens like us. He is working hard to make this a, a good country for the people who live in. But well, that's good to know. So, that seems to be the central area of the city. Say. You know that guy, Hurch? He is this jerk who's always with King Garland. I heard he bullied Spears kind, like some kind of hobby. What a freak. Yeah, I noticed he's kind of a freak, and he doesn't like kids either. Oh. Listen. King Garland is a great man. He's also called the Desert Tiger. It is not just his strength. He got everything. Courage, attitude, a big heart. <laughs> he really is a tiger. He was born to be a king. That's nice. What is it? If you're going to the castle, it is past this gate. Don't roam around like you own this place just because King Garland let you in as a guest. Oh, I wouldn't do that. Even if you, if you, you didn't really have to tell me that, actually. <laughs> Wait. Why can I go? Why can I not go to the left? That's a bit weird. Hmm. There's a new light in your eyes. I would relish a chance to fight you, but now is not the time. Now is not the time. Hey! 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 You! Don't you make that face at me? Huh? I'm not making any faces. That's just the way I look. Don't get all high and mighty with you just because you're a soldier. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Oh. Ooh. That's... Wait... Huh? Can I... Can I use this to open up the way up there? Would be nice if I could! Huh? Just put that right here. And I need another one. Okay, let me see. There has to be another one around. Mm -hmm. Ah, of course. That's... We've got our water from a source far from here. It's this water that has allowed our city to become the... No Number one city in sickness. Nice. <clears throat> so, okay, I'm gonna grab huh? this really quickly. Move the array right here. Come on. Say. Hey, look, some stupid looking guy are fighting over there. Well, that's nothing new in this city. Is that really that common? But then again, huh? I did just have a bar fight with that other guy in order to get the art back, so, uh. Yeah, I guess I can kind of understand. So what is happening over here? <laughs> I guess I go to Etolia Wasteland and test my strength. Or maybe to the Abyssal Forest in the east. Mm. Oh wait, I remember that there are beast kind watching that place. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Should I maybe remember those locations for later visitors? I probably should, huh? So let me see. I already talked to the guys over here. Which means now I should probably head inside of the castle. Oh my god, that's a lot of people. Okay, you first. Yeah. If you go straight ahead, the door in the center leads to the king's throne room. The door on the right is where the prison cells are located. Yeah. 
King Garland is also the strongest warrior in all of Cygnus. When you fight beside the king in the front line, you feel invincible. Hey. You're Garland's gladiator, aren't you? I've seen you wander around. Do you need some help? I know all about this area. You know about me, huh? In that case, let me ask you something. Okay, since important. Do you know anything about the woman I arrived in this city with? <laughs> yes. Do you know where she is? Hold on. Whoa, slow down there. I'd heard rumors about you. You're supposed to be quite skilled. That doesn't have anything to do with my question. Where is she? Whoa, whoa. Sorry, pal. Information is my life. You need infos? I need to get something in return. <sighs> What's it going to cost? Hmm. This won't cost you any money. I need to borrow your skills. My older brother wants to fight a skilled opponent. Are you up for it? I don't have time for this. You can't spend your time fighting or waste your time searching in vain for that lady. Your call. I don't even think about finding another informant. I run the info game in this town. Mm -hmm. So, what is it going to be, Mr. Gladiator? Not yet. I see. Best of luck then. Not yet, I'm, I need to talk to people. Huh? You think that I just stand around in this shop all day long? It was a much uh, it was much more exciting shop until a little while ago. People who didn't approve of King Garland used to try and attack him every day. Ah, so you had to fight every day. Ahem. Don't run around too much. You don't exactly belong here. Hey! King Garland is in the back. Mind your manners. I enter? Hey! The prison is off limit. Of course, of course. I won't even attempt to ins to get inside, but I could maybe talk to Garland. What is it? King Garland is very bus is very busy. If you must see him, make it quick. <sighs> hey, just because you beat the king doesn't mean you own the world. The king could end your life in an instant if he wanted. Remember that. Yeah, yeah. Well, have you gotten used to Cygnus? It's definitely not a pretty place, but that's part of its charm for me. And as the land's king, it motivates me. Well, it is a nice place. I like the charm of it. Especially since uh, there's only desert around here, so they need to make the most out of it. So, let me just see. Ah, okay. Okay, the time is slowly running out. Which means this is a good point to make a little cut. In the next part, we're going to talk to the informant and see where Rainy or Eruka might be. After, of course, fighting with his brother, because it seems like he really, really wants us to fight another fight. <laughs> but at least we have Art around. I really hope he's not going to force me to fight alone again. But then again, they, they might... Uh, never mind, they might do that. After all, it's a gladiator city. Usually, you're supposed to fight one on one. <laughs> Anyways, until next time, bye-bye!